Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to His name. Glory to His name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a blessing. What a wonderful day it is today. A great Sabbath for, the, for so we can come here and worship here in the worship center today. Worshiping our God, our great and mighty God. Thank you for coming, being here in this video for Measure of Faith Worship Center. As we get the word here today, and I uh, want to open up with uh, giving anybody an invitation. If you don't know him, you can know him today. I will give a great invitation, and we'll say a prayer at the end of this message. And you can be a, a child of the most, most high God, a, a God, a delivering God, a restoring God. He'll restore you. Back to the Father, our Lord, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Not Allah, not Buddha, but Jesus Christ. And uh, we would just uh, want to open up by and, and, and allow, you, allow you, your spirit to, to receive this word and receive this word today and allow this word to work for you and it will work for you and work through you to save and, and help others. If you're not just for yourself, but to help your family, bring life and, 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 and goodness and grace to your family as well. And that's what this here message is going to be a little, little bit of a, a short message today. Today, I want to say offhand, today was my wife's birthday. Her name is Shannon. Shannon Lovett. And she, she's... I'm not gonna say her age, but she's this <laughs> but God bless her, and, and I, I and I, I thank the Lord for her, and we love her, and uh, she's a, a great instrument to for God as well. She plays in the in a local church here, uh, the Independent Fellowship of the Living Word, Jack Whitlow's church here in the in the uh, uh, Gaston Lexington area of South Carolina, and she played been playing the music there for a few years and stuff, and. She's a real good uh, keyboardist and, and a child of God. Loves God with all her heart and, 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 and expresses it mightily through music. And, and you can get her, go to her, her uh, Facebook page, it's Shannon Lovett. And uh, you can pull up her playlist and she, has, she puts songs on there for, on her playlist. You can pull her songs up and stuff. I wish she could be here to... Uh, play the music today, but you know, maybe later one day and stuff. But God bless her today and her special day, her special birthday. And we had a little birthday celebration for her, me and my, her and my son. We had a great little time and, and fellowship together as a family and, and, and showed our love to her. And I also want to give recognition to uh, uh, some minister friends as well and stuff. And I uh, uh, Pastor uh, Willie Burke of Hope for the Lost Ministries. He's a, a great friend and pastor that works with me at, at, at my job at Walmart. I've been at Walmart for 20 some years, <laughs> 27 years and stuff. So, and uh, but, uh, I've known him for about seven or eight years. And uh, as, as well as, as uh, uh, Maurice Mayo out of the Lexington area, great man of God as well. And uh, he works for Pepsi Cola, and he's and he's a real good minister of the gospel, and he and he loves God with all his heart, and he witnesses and, and spreads the gospel and he, to each and every one he meets, and as well, uh, and and we're about to launch Measure of Faith Worship Center in India. It's been in preparation for two to three months now, but but Pastor uh, Babu Megapu and his family. Have, have, have built a, a, a nice church above their home to, to, to acquire about 100 to 200 people. And he's, he, he's going to launch it the, the, the 2nd of December, which is two more days. <laughs> two more days <laughs> and stuff. But we hope many will find, find salvation, find good, uh, the, the things of God that they, they're looking for and, the, and, and come there for healing. And Because and, this man of God, this... Pastor Megapu, he, he's a great man of God, an apostle to the, to the churches over there. He's over many churches besides he's created his own church in his, above his home and stuff. And, and, uh, but he goes out and, 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 and evangelizes and, 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 and does great things in, in, the, in, in the 
uh, nation of India, and he's and he and reaches out to other many nations as well. And he and he's a good man of God. And if you want to send donations to him, we don't uh, uh, ask anyone for anything. But if you feel led in your heart, that's what it's about. If you feel led in your heart and you want to do something for this man of God and get into this great work that's just now on, in, in the, uh, uh, coming uh, in the manifestation, you can do so by sending him a, a Western Union to uh, Babu Magapu or Magapu, M-A-G-A-P-U, Magapu, Babu, B-A-B-U, India, and that's all you had to do is go to the Western Union, make out a Western Union, and send it to him as a donation to his, to the great contributions that he's doing. He's a, a four or five generation pastor, and he's been doing this for quite a while, and he, and he is very knowledgeable in the Word, and he does his messages in, in Indian language, of the, the, and then he turns around and does it in English and f puts it on Facebook. You can go to Facebook, and he loves to have a friend. And you can friend him, and he'll he'll send you these messages, and he does he he puts my messages in too, on there too on his site, and he, he's a good man of God, and and it's a great family, it's a great family. He's his wife, his children, everyone has has, has really totally contributed to the to the building of this church. His friends, his brother-in-law, his <laughs> his uncles, everyone in his family has contributed to this church, and 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 it's it's a very nice. Uh, church, and we call it the upper room because it's above his house. He's and and and, and he, he's hoping for a great experience in, in God and a great revival to be there in this great place that he's provided God and His Spirit to come and be with the people and to helping the people and, and and to bring healing, wholeness, and wellness to to the to the people of India and 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 then they can reach out to many nations. And so, if you want to be part of that, you can. And, and because and for my ministry, I, 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 we we all trust God for because He said uh, uh, He'll supply all our needs in Philippians uh, 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 to His riches in glory by His riches in glory, and He's and we're not laying up our treasures here on earth but in heaven, and that's what He's called us to do and stuff. But like I said, if you want to help this great great work of God that's that's going on because He's He's standing behind our logo and stuff here that God gave it's in his word in, in, in uh, uh, Romans 12 and 3 and stuff and, but he's standing he, he loved this here and, and he's standing with this this logo as well as measure faith India and he's going to he's going to do great works for God and you want to be in on something that God is doing in this great nation because you bless them other nations God will bless this nation this nation's going through some hurts and some hardships and some confusion and some trials very much with these here the pandemic same with his country been through great trials and tribulations this great this and, and through this pandemic many lives lost and and many souls damned for hell and but you know God is God is wanting us to get out there and great uh, gather this this harvest up and gather these people up and and, and, and bring them to a salvation place in Him, and that's what it's about, finding a salvation place in Him today, and that's what I'm preaching here today, is a salvation place, and you can find that salvation place yourself in Him today at, at an altar where you're at, where you at can be that altar, you, you, you don't have to be in a church, you should be in a church, be it with other like-minded uh, people. Once you get saved, and, or if you're already saved and you're not doing these things, you need to get you one. Or, or you can. I've got many messages. You can go on my, my Facebook page at Timothy uh, Lovett, or you can go on my my YouTube channel at, at, at Pastor Timothy Lovett, and 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 pull up Measure Faith Worship Center on on as well on 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 that's uh, on YouTube, and I have a playlist on there of. 30, 40 different messages and stuff from the last, uh, uh, for the last couple of years that I've, I've had on there to, to keep, so people can go on there and, and, and hear the gospel. It's about hearing the gospel and then being a doer of that word and a sharer, sharing it. Share this with me. Share this for me and for God. 
allow God's word to go out and it says, it says to go into the highways and the byways and compel others to come in to his goodness and his grace and his mercy. And that's what it's about today. And so, like I said, these great people of God, stand, I stand behind them because they got integrity and honor and they, and they follow after the things of God and, the, and their true heart is for God. As well as Pastor Sandy, I... Sandra Sandi in, in India as well, great apostle uh, in over uh, about 40 some churches and, and he goes great lengths and distances by foot and <laughs> he don't have cars and stuff and he goes by foot to these places and, and, and ministers and stuff to, the, to people that, that don't have nothing, have very limited anything. But he goes and he makes sure they find, they know the gospel and they hear the gospel. And it's up to us to do those things and stuff. And uh, that's why I said I just wanted to mention these few people as, as well as Apostle Bridget Green's great little uh, woman of God. And, and she, if you want to uh, Facebook her and, and you ladies out there and you need, you need, you, you, you don't trust men preachers and you don't trust you know the churches, but you can you can trust her and, and she she she's very diverse in the word and and, and loves God with all her heart and she should be a, a, a very pleased for you to face her book her and friend her and she will friend you back and, and, and help you with your problems uh, by giving you the word and counsel of, of God and and. and uh, you'll be uh, well pleased at what you hear from her. She will give you a word from God. She stays close to God and all these other ministers as well and stuff and these great friends of mine. And they lift me up and they give me uh, encouragement all the time. And God bless them and, and I thank them and love them for these things because that's what, together we're, I was on a conference with, with, with six Indian pastors the other, other morning, me and Pastor Magapu, and we all, it was just like we was in a, the, the, uh, a family circle. You know, it, we, that's how God, the Spirit of God works in us. We're all family in the family of God. And that's what we, we're, uh, this is be a, a great family of God as your faithful uh, worship center in India. And I talk a little fast to get these things in because I, I don't want my video too too long and too short <laughs> and stuff. So if I talk a little fast and stuff, that's what most preachers do. But I'm not a slickster and, and I'm not trying to, to hustle. I'm just trying to bring you the great word of God and, 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 and allow you to be a part of something. If you want to be a part of something, if you want to be a part of this, same way. You know, I, my email I put uh, on the Facebook uh I, uh, I mean, YouTube. I put it in the uh, 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 description. I put I put my email address. I don't want no no, no spam mail, but I do. If you want com, put great comments on there. If you have uh, things that you think I need to do <laughs> better, you you put them on there. You know, I'm 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 not, I, I, you know uh, I I will listen to your comments and I'll give you a. a, 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 a a nudge back and, and let you know what I think about your comments, you know. And I'm not I'm not gonna be harsh or, or hard, but you know, uh, we will stick to the word the, the word of God and all that we say and all uh, all that we comment and stuff. And uh, like I said, it, it'll be in the description. You can go to YouTube and pull it up. And when you pull it up, pull go to the Facebook uh, and then make sure you subscribe to it. And, and, and stuff because I will have a little subscribe button in there. You just have to usually look for it sometimes. It's a little small one, but it might be there at the bottom of the of one corner of, or left or right corner of the, of the, of the Facebook um, and the YouTube page and stuff, but it'll be on there. But here we're going to, uh, uh, also I, I want to say, you know, you need a Bible. Get a Bible, get you a Bible app. You can get a Bible app on your phone. And you go to Google Play Store, get you a Bible app. If you don't have a Bible, you need to have a Bible. You go to Walmart, get you a Bible. You go to Target, get you a Bible. You go to the Dollar General, get you a Bible. Or you can go here. We, I kind of plug them because I like their. their they have many resources here at, at King uh, ChristianBook.com, and they have a one eight hundred number. 1-800-CHRISTIAN, you can go there, and they, they got plenty of Bibles, you can buy, find all kinds of Bibles, you can have, find all kinds of resources for, 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 from children to adults, you know, all different things 
and you can give them out as gifts and stuff, as well as kingdom.com, www.kingdom.com. They have different things for it to, to, to help you to minister and to build your ministry. If you want to build a ministry or, or, or start a ministry, filming, editing, uh, web pages, you name it, they have it. They have musical instruments, you know, uh, uh, protective stuff, masks, you know, <laughs> everything you can name. Kingdom.com and ChristianBook.com. And like I can say, you can these Bible apps. You can go to BibleGateway.com online and stuff. And I, I, I that's what I use a lot to pull up scriptures because it's quick. You can pull it right up. Same way you can put it that same uh, app. You can put it on your uh, your phone and stuff. And it's a, it's a, they're beautiful apps and have great scriptures in there that you can pull up scriptures daily. You should be you nourish yourself with your food every day. You know most people don't miss too many meals. You know, but you can uh, find very much, a lot of nourishment in, uh, in the Word and, and, and through through this, this app and stuff. And, uh, you know, and, and like I said, today we're going to talk about Hush Lions, my, uh, my God is here to deliver me. Hush Lions, my God is here to deliver me. And that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to uh, go uh, start here with the word and go over to the book of Daniel. I know everybody knows a little little Bible story and, and uh, about Daniel and about Daniel and the lions did. And we're going to go do some back a uh, little backstory first, and then I'll, I'll go into the scriptures to start out with uh, uh, in, in chapter six uh, of, of Daniel. But I'm going to go some little backstory here because what how Daniel got into this position and stuff, and so. I'm gonna go over to chapter, the chapter five of, 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 of Daniel, and it and, and, and Belshazzar, uh, the king made uh, made a great feast to, to a thousand of his lords and, and drank wine before 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 the thousand. And Belshazzar was Nebuchadnezzar's son, and, he, and when he re it was reigning, he he wasn't a great king. <laughs> he was a bad king, and there's bad. Bad people out there, bad politicians, bad, bad spiritual leaders as well, and stuff. And there's bad people out there, so you're not going to be able to get away from bad people. But we don't have to conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind and allow this word to, to, to help us and cleanse us and change us. And it can change the, the, the world around you. And Bels, like I said, Belzar, he wasn't a good king and he, and he did the, the, the wrong things. Uh, his father was trying to get back to, to doing the right things. Jan Daniel kind of turned him around and stepped in the way that he seen how, how Daniel was delivered by, by, by his God. And, and then Belshazzar was, was, was kind of, uh, like I say, he was a bad king and he did bad things. He, he said, he, he said he, uh, uh, that, that he had him bring the golden vessels and, 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 and out of the temple of the house of God. And, and and they and they sit around him and his him and his princes and, and wives and, and his concubines and they drank from them. This was sacrilege. <laughs> they did they did something was sacrilege at that time under the law. And God God was strict on the people about uh, 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 obeying the law. And when they didn't obey the law, there was there was a great consequence. And it's the same with sinning today. We all sin. We're all sinners and come short of the glory. And when we sin, God, there's consequences for those sins. And that's what I'm kind of getting down here to. And like I said, and, and then it, and the hour came in verse five of, of five, uh, of chapter five of, of Daniel, and it says, "In the same hour came four fingers of a hand, a man's hand, and wrote." It, over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall. Here's this here big giant hand comes down, a spiritual hand, and it writes on it, it writes on the the wall of the palace. And the king saw and the part of the hand that wrote. And then the king's countenance was changed, and his thoughts troubled him, so that the joints of the of, the, of their his loins was loosed, and his knees smote one against the other. In other words, he was trembling in his britches. <laughs> if you don't know, if you've ever been really fearful or been scared 
really seriously. <laughs> he was very scared, <laughs> and his and his knees smote against each uh, 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 against another. And the king cried aloud to bring in the, the astrologers, the candle, the chaldeans, and the uh, 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 smooth sayer, in other words, like like psychics, and and the wise men of, of Babylon, whosoever. Uh, shall read the, uh, this writing and show me the interpretation that therefore shall be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about his neck and shall be the third ruler of the kingdom. And you got to understand how this set all up like this here. And then and then came all the kings of the, of the, of the wise men, but they could not read the writing. No one or, or could, could read this, all this, that, that, this writing that was on the wall, nor make known to the king the interpretation thereof. And, when, and then was uh, King Belzar greatly troubled, and his countenance was changed in him, and his lords was ast astounded. Now the queen, by reason of the words of the king, uh, his lord came into the banquet house, and the queen spake and said, King, live forever. Let not thy thoughts trouble thee, nor let thy countenance be changed. There is a man in thy kingdom, in whom is the spirit of the whole holy gods. And in the days of thy father's light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods was found in him. Daniel, this is Daniel, because the Nebuchadnezzar seen, seen Daniel in that, in, in, in that, in the, uh, 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 with all, how wise he was, because he gave Daniel, uh, Daniel gave him interpretations. And, and deter uh, uh, in his dreams, and says, "I say, thy father made masters of the uh, uh, of the magicians, astrologers, chatelins, and soothsayers, so much as an excellent spirit and knowledge, and uh, understanding and interpreting, uh, interpreting of dreams, and showing of, of hard sentences, and, and resolving of doubts, uh, were found in the same Daniel, whom the king named Belshazzar." Now let Daniel be called, and he will show thee the interpretation. She told him, to let bring this, bring this Daniel in here, because this Daniel can he he serves a mighty God that gives him these interpretations. She said she they knew his God was the right God, and are you serving the right God today? Is your God talking to you? Is your God in relationship with you? If not, that's what we're going to talk about here in a few minutes. And stuff, and, and and if you read on down through this chapter five, and it tells how how uh, you know these people uh, 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 got Daniel in there, and Daniel was to give him the interpretation, even though the interpretation wasn't the one he really wanted to hear, because it was telling his demise. But we're going to go back down. It says in verse seventeen, and then Daniel answered and said. Before the king, let thy gifts be to thyself, and give thy rewards to another. Yet I will read the writing unto the king, and make known to him the interpretation. O thou king, the most high God gave Nebuchadnezzar thy father a kingdom, and a majesty, and a glory, and an honor. And for the majesty that he gave him, all people, nations, and languages trembled and feared before him. He made his father a great king. And he, and whom he would uh, would show a, a slew, and whom he would uh, be kept alive, and whom he would set up, and whom he would, would be put down. But when his heart was lifted up, and his mind hardened in pride, he was deposed from his mighty throne, and they took his glory from him, and he was driven away. Uh, driven from the sons of men, and his heart was made like the beast, and his uh, his dwelling was with the wild asses, and they uh, fed him with grass like oxen, and his body was wet with dew of, of heaven, until he knew that the Most High God ruled in the kingdom of men, and and that he uh, appointed over it whosoever he will, and uh, and thou. His son, O Belshazzar, was it not humble thine heart, thou, uh, though thou knowest all these things? You know, even though he's seen his father go through all these things, now he's now his heart has been hardened. And so he, instead of doing the things of God, he he went contrary to the things of God, turned on God, started do, defiling the things in the temple, 
and that was and and and, and, it, and it turned on him as well. But thou lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, and thou have brought the vessels of the house therefore th before thee, and thou and, and thou and thy lords, thy wives. And thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold and brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know, and the God in whom, whose hand thy breath is, and who are all thy ways, hast thou not glorified. Then was the part of the hand sent from him, and this written as was written, and this is the writing that was written. Mani, mani, tekel, umfar, sin. This is the interpretation of the thing. Me, God, have numbered thy kingdom and finished it. To kill, thou art weighed in the balance and art found wanting. Paris, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. And then verse 29 says, Then commanded Belshazzar, and they clothed Daniel with scarlet, and put a chain of gold about his neck, and made a proclamation concerning him that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. Even though he prophesied that, that bad things were going to happen to this king for doing all this, these, 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 these sacrilege things against the, the things of God and, 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 and the, temple, the, the temple of God. But, but instead, but he had already promised in his word that he would do the, give. Uh, he would he would give anyone that come and gave him this interpretation the, uh, uh, great honors, and so that's what he did for for, for Daniel. And in, and in that night was Belshazzar the king of uh, uh, Chaldean slain, and Darius the Median took the kingdom. Being bought uh, about three score and twenty uh, and two years old, or thirty two years old, and this is why I'm going uh, over here now. We're going into chapter six, uh, and remember, hush lines. My guy is here to deliver me, and so we're going to go here, chapter six, and it says it pleased Darius to set up set over the kingdom a hundred. And twenty princes, which should be over the whole kingdom, and over these uh, three uh, presidents, uh, uh, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give account unto them, and the king should have no da uh, damage. In other words, protect the king, because that's what it was all about. Always protect the king, and that's what we're doing. We're we're our, our king's protectors. We protect his word. This word is is. is, is is holy and this word is honorable and this word is divine and that's why we protect this word we go out and we deliver it to, them, to the others and that's what it's about today hush lines my God is here to deliver me and then on verse 3 of, of, of chapter 6 of Daniel then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents priests, uh, princes because of an excellent spirit was in him and that's what is having the, an excellent spirit in you today. And the king brought to uh, uh, the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Then the presidents and the princes sought to find accusations against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none uh, 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 occasions nor faults for so, for as much as they. Uh, he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. Now he was he was perfect in his spirit. He had a great spirit and he was a uh, he was a true man of God. And that's what you, we want to be great Christians. We want to be Christians that's that's fruitful and that we want others to see it said you'll know they'll know you by the fruit that you bear. And and that's what he he was a good Christian. He was one of the uh, of great integrity, great honor, and, 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 and true holiness in his heart, and, and humble. And then verse 5 says, And then said these men, We shall not find any occasions, uh, uh, accusations or occasions against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. See, now they're going to try to find what he's doing wrong against God. 
and that's what they could. And then, and then these presidents and princes assembled together to to the king and said thus unto him, King Darius, live forever. All the presidents of the king, the the kingdom, and the governors and the princes and the counselors and the captains, they have consulted. Uh, together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any any God or man for 30 days say of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the dens of lions. See, they're setting it up. They're setting this thing up so to try to see it because if you didn't worship this statue, this thing that they, this man-made thing that they made to, to, to this likeness of, uh, uh, of Darius, so, so, so that now you, you, if you didn't worship this thing, you were going to be thrown into the lion's den, because they knew Daniel was was only going to serve his God, and that's why it's about serving your God today, one Lord, one God. And that's that's our Lord Jesus Christ and our Heavenly Father and in, in His Holy Spirit. And so, and then, like I say, and then we we'll get to verse 8 of, of, of chapter 6, and it says, Now, O king, establish a decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the laws of the Medes and the Persians, again, uh, which alter not. Therefore, wherefore, King Darius signed the writing and the decree. And now, when Dan Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house. And his windows being opened in the chambers towards Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his, uh, his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did all, uh, uh, four times. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplications before his God. Then they came near and spoke before the king concerning the king's decree. Hast thou not signed a decree? That every man, see, they, they set the trap, now, now, now they're going to the king. That hast thou not signed a decree that every man that shall ask a petition of any god or man within 30 days, save thee, in other words, without the king's permission, O king, shall be cast into the dens of lions. And the king answered and said, The thing is true according to the law of the Medes and the Persians, which... Uh, altereth not, or you couldn't change it. Once he'd made a decree, it couldn't be changed. It's not unless the 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 the, the king said so and 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 canceled the decree and made it a, 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 another decree to override that decree. <laughs> In other words, the only the king's word, and this is God's word. This is His Lord, His King, His Lord that He sent for us. This is His word, and it does not change. It does not change. God does not change His word. For he will hush the lions. Uh, uh, my God is here to deliver me. And like I said, then we said in verse 13, Then answered they and said before the king, That Daniel, which is of the children of the captive, ta captivity of Judah, regardeth not thee, O king, nor the decree that thou hast signed, but make his petition three times a day. He was praying they, uh, three times a day. You know, some Christians can't pray three times a month. <laughs> you know, or uh, three times a year. Only if something, some big trial ain't going through, all of a sudden all these things are coming against them from the world. And all of a sudden, oh God, help me, God. Now you want God's help. But you never gave God no 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 worship. You never gave God no praise. You never gave God the honor that God has so deserved and stuff. And then the king, uh, then the king, when he heard these words, was sore and displeased with him, and uh, set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Then these men assembled unto the king and said unto the king. Know, O king, that the law of the Medes and the Persians is that no decree nor statute which the king established may be changed. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of the lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. See, he, 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 
trusted. He 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 knew through his through his uh, uh, by sitting knowing what he did, how he uh, before that uh, he he gave this word and, and and he had he had the spirit of God in him and he knew the spirit of God was in him and so because he knew that if he throwed him in that lines then he'd say, he'd say hush lines. My God is here to deliver me and stuff and and then the, uh. Verse 17, And a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with the, his own signet, a seal, and with the signet of his lords, that the, uh, the, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. And then the king went to his palace and, he, and passed the night fasting. Neither, neither were... In other words, he went to bed hungry. <laughs> there you go. How many? How many have you gone to bed hungry? God has provided for you, even in your your sin nature. God's provided everything for you because He ordained you for this moment that you can receive Him today, and you can receive Him in your heart. And that's what we're going to uh, give a message at the end of this here uh, scriptures and stuff, and so that you can. And so open up your heart as we finish reading out this word. And open your heart and allow God to come in and and and, and, and take a bold in your heart and, and and abide in you today. And and, and and so that you can hush the li lion's mouth. You can hush lions. My God is here to deliver me. And says the king went to his palace, and he passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and his and his sleep went uh, from him. In other words, he could he slept and toiled, and he couldn't sleep all night. He tried, he couldn't he couldn't sleep, he couldn't eat, and because he knew what what he done to was Daniel was wrong. But he, he but he knew, he trusted. I believe he trusted God's his Daniel's God to deliver him, and 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 when. He came to the den, he cried with a, 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 a lamented voice unto Daniel, and the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God. See, he knew. <laughs> he knew. He said, Is that, is that God whom thou servest continue able to deliver thee from the lions? Yes. Hush, lions. My God is here to deliver me. Then said Daniel unto to the king, O king, live forever. You know that king's heart was was pounding until he heard Daniel's voice. He thought he done did the wrong thing because he he probably figured his whole kingdom as well as as, as, as Belshazzar's uh, kingdom was was taken from him. His whole kingdom would probably be taken from him for for bringing such judgment and persecution to this to this great man of God. And said, my God. Have sent his angels and have shut the lion's mouth. Verse twenty-two. For so much as before him innocence was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Hush, lions! My God is here to deliver me. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no no manner of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in, in his God. And that's what we're talking about today, believing in a God that would deliver us. And the king commanded, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions. Them, the children, and their wives, and the di the lions had a great feast. The lions had the majesty of them. Of the words he had, they feasted on them. The, them hungry lions woke up, and they was hungry. <laughs> and now they had, they had Daniel's accusers, Jan, the, those that persecuted and, and, and brought uh, 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 false things against Daniel. They was thrown into the lions' den, and they was devoured by the lions and had them and, and they break all their bones in pieces and ever and ever they came at the bottom of the den then the king uh, then king Darius wrote unto all the people the nations and languages that dwell in all the earth peace be multiplied unto you I make a decree that in every uh, dominion of my kingdom men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel for he is the living God and steadfast forever, and his kingdom that which shall 
be not destroyed, and his dominion shall be even unto the end. He delivered and re rescueth, and he worketh signs and wonders in the heavens and in the earth, who have delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. So this Daniel, verse 28, prospered in the reign of Darius and in the reign of uh, Cyrus and of, 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 per, uh, of the Persians. For hush lions, my God is here to deliver me. And then we're going to go also over to Second King, go back the other way. And we're going to go back over to Second Kings. I'm going to just read some small scriptures here to, to, to go along with this here. And then, then finish it out with, 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 with uh, for, uh, another, uh, for, uh, a few scriptures down here in, in, in Second Timothy. But we're going to, right now, I'm going to go back to Second Kings. And we're going to go to the 17th chapter of Second Kings. 17th chapter of, of Second Kings. Verse 39, it says, But the Lord your God ye shall fear, and he shall deliver you out of the hands of all your enemies. And that's what, that's what the king seen that, uh, uh, that Daniel's God did for him. He delivered him, and then his enemies was devoured by the lions. Hush, lions, my God is here to deliver me. And then we're going to go also, we're going to uh, continue, we're going to go, to uh, Psalms, we're going to go to the book of Psalms, you go back the other way, we went that way, and now we're going back this way, and we're going to start off in, in Psalm 7, just a few Psalms to back this up as well, and stuff about how great our God is on delivering us, and stuff, and then we're going to go to Psalms uh, 7, and we're going to read verse 1. Verse 1 says, O oh Lord my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. He did. <laughs> them that persecuted him found themselves as, as lion's meat. <laughs> a, a can of lion's meat. <laughs> you know, they was, they was, uh, them, them kitty cats had a nice feast on, the, on, on, his, on those, them, those that, that persecuted him. And then we're going to go over to Psalms. 34, and we're going to read a couple of, a couple of verses out of that uh, uh, Psalms as well. Psalms 34. If you go over to Psalms 34, we, just, we went from 7, now we're back on, we're up here on, 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 in Psalms 34. And mark your Bible with, you can get some little marks, you some tabs, you can, I, I didn't mention that earlier, but you can make you some tabs out of, out of some colored uh, 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 stock paper, and you can make, make you some tabs if, and, and, and stuff. And, you don't feel bad about writing in your Bible if when you, if you go to one of these here resources, get you two Bibles. There you can get some cheap Bibles. You can get a five dollar Bible. You can go to Dollar General and get you a five dollar Bible and write in it. But you know, mark your Bible so you can go through and get your readings and stuff. But like I said, Psalms thirty four, and we're gonna go to verse verse four of Psalms for the. Uh, 34 and it says I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears <laughs> sound like the king needed to be delivered from his fears he's sitting there trembling <laughs> Belshazzar he was he was sitting there trembling and, uh, and, and stuff and it says his knees was, it says his knees was knocking <laughs> hey, can't you hear something knocking that's your knees that's what his knees was knocking <laughs> you know and stuff he, 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 he you know, he, he had a, he had a, he was having a, a bad time there. It says, it says his thoughts troubled him so that the joints of his loins was loose and stuff, and his and his knees smote it against one another <laughs> and stuff. And then we're going to also, like I say, in that same that same songs, we're going to also go down to. Uh, um, I just love his word. I just love his word, and you you can love his word too when you get in his word. His, his word is so 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 wonderful, and it, and it brings great strength to us. And he, and so, like I say, and you go down to verse nineteen of that uh, 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 Psalm thirty four. It says, "Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all." Circle that all in your Bible. That's you. That includes you if you know him today. That includes you. Out of, out of them all. Because that's what he, he, he delivered him, him or you 
out of them all. And then we're also going to go, like I said now, we're going to go down to uh, 2 Timothy. And we're going to finish out the scriptures and I'm going to give you an opportunity to know him today. And know, know, know him as your Lord and your Savior if you don't know him. And if you don't, and you can, so you can lead others to know him as well. And stuff and, uh, for hush lines, my God is here to deliver me. And then we're going, like I said, go to go over to second, uh, second, uh, second Timothy, and we're going to go to the uh, fourth chapter of Second Timothy, and we're going to read just a couple scriptures and stuff. And, and, and right here it says, and this part, uh, letters of Paul uh, wrote to the churches and stuff, and the epistles of Paul and stuff. And it says, it says. At verse uh, four, uh, chapter four of Second Timothy, and four and fourteen, and fourteen says, Alexander the carpenter smith did me much evil, and the Lord rewarded him according to his words. People better be careful. It says, touch not my anointing or my anointing. And then verse fifteen, it says, of whom be thou aware, for he hath greatly withstood our words. In other words, he preached to them, and they and, and the man was unsaved, and he 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 he, he tried to bring great harm against Paul and, and them as they was as they was ministering the gospel. And and verse sixteen, at my first anger, at my first answer, no man stood was stood with me. See, and he had nobody backing him. Paul did, but all men forsook me, and I pray God that it may be not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me that by, by me the preaching might be fully known and that all the Gentiles might hear and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. In other words, this person that come against him came to him like it came after. It says the, Lord, the, the devil is, goes to and fro like a roaring lion devouring whom he may. And so it says, hush line, my God is here to deliver me. And so it says, uh, verse 17, and then that was, then verse 18 says, And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. And that's what I wanted right there, bring that out. Preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. And that was verse 14 through through 18. And but that was what I'm talking about. He will preserve us unto his, his heavenly kingdom. His his kingdom come, his will be done. What we talked about last week about the model prayer. And it says in there, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And stuff and so and but thy kingdom come. His kingdom is coming. That was our message from last week and stuff. And but he says, he said he hushed the lion mouth. A hushed lion. My my God is here to deliver me. And that's what I say. It was just a little short message here and stuff with these scriptures and stuff. And you can go back and look them up and stuff. And and like I said, I put them in, I put them on the on the description and stuff. And you can you pull them up yourself and and and, and read that whole the whole book of Daniel. It's great word great word in there. Daniel was a great man of God and, 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 a, and a great prophet of God and, 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 for, and, and God was used him mightily and stuff. And, uh, you can, uh, like I say, do these things and then uh, we're going to close that word with that, with that word right there and then I'm going to give right here this opportunity for you to find, to know God as a personal Savior and as a Lord and, and the Lord over your life today and stuff and and I put the same little paper on there with the description on, uh, on it. You can help to lead others as well. And that's what's about, helping others find God today and find God through you. And so they, he can hush the mouth of those lions and try to devour them and stuff and, 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 and deliver you and stuff because we all need delivering. If you are, you got to recognize that you sin against God. You have, God ordained you to be uh, to do great works for Him, not great works for yourself, not great works for this world.
but and and not to be conformed to this world, but be transforming by and by by renewing your mind and confessing with your mouth that you are a sinner. Well, you say I'm a good person. I've never hurt no one. I've been this. I've been that. But this this God says is uh for. Uh, it's once unto a man, appointed unto a man, a woman, or a man to die, and then the judgment, and then you stand before God. And if you don't, if you don't have Christ abiding in you when you stand before God, you'll be damned to a, 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 a devil's hell. And, and, and that's just God's. That's it. God established that through, from the time that man sinned in the garden. And so now we know that we are sinners. We we have to admit that we are sinners. Confess it with our mouth that we are sinners. Saying, saying, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. We have to admit that we're sinners, and that God, that the only way through that we can come back to God is through Jesus Christ. Not Buddha, not Allah, not not no uh, no elephant kissing a monkey. You 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 none of those things. <laughs> like this guy, this here Belshazzar, Belshazzar, he thought, you know, he didn't, he he took it lightly that he defiled those those things from the temple, but those things was was given there by 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 uh, uh, Solomon and, and 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 through the generations, to and, and was was uh, was honorable to God, and when he took them from the and, and used them for his own benefit. And, and gave them to his concubines, and they drank to, and defiled them with wine. God was not pleased, and we want God to be pleased. We want to serve because God is a great God, and He's worthy to be to be praised. And we have to admit that He, uh, like I said, we admit we are sinners, and confess it with our mouth, and know that the Lord Jesus Christ can save us. Romans uh, three and twenty three. Then we have to repent. Repentance is what people don't understand. Repentance is turn from those sins. You can't keep doing them. You can't still be a Christian and party every weekend. It don't work that way. <laughs> your party is not. Your party has canceled. You, now you you got to live an honorable life, just like Daniel. And if you read how Daniel died, he you, he had an honorable life unto God, a righteous life unto God, and that's what we are going to do. Walk in righteousness with Christ, and as we walk, sure things aren't going to be that way to start. But God will will work His Holy Spirit through you and and, and change the things out of you. You, you. It's not an overnight deal, it, or it can be instantaneously. It just depends on your level of faith in God and your level of faith in, in, in trusting God to, with the, with your life and with the, the, every part of your life. A lot of people don't trust him with the whole parts of life, but God wants you wholeheartedly. Trust him all the way with your whole life. Give him your whole life at this time. And, that, and like I say, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, died on the cross, and shed his blood to pay the price for your sins, and that he rose again, Romans 10 and 9. Ask Jesus to save you, and he will. Romans 10 and 13. Ask Jesus to be the Lord and total uh, Lord of your life. Romans 12, 1 and 2, and, and, and stuff. And so now we're just going to pray this prayer of faith right now. We want, you just got to open your hearts up, open your minds up, clear all that. Don't, don't have all these distractions. Turn off any TV, radio. Get yourself in a place with God right now. Get your heart, get your, open your heart and your spirit and your mind open to God. And this word is out as we, we say this prayer and say this prayer out loud with me and, 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 and and, 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 and God will save you today. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God. Lord Jesus, as I hear this minister, I, I, I admit that I am a sinner, and I've sinned and come short of your glory. And I, and I want you to come into my heart. Come into my heart right now. I give you my whole total life, and, my, and I turn my life over to you and allow, allow your Holy Spirit to work in me and allow me to be that person that you want, you called me to be even before the foundation of the world. And allow me to, to, to know you, to feel you, to have you as my personal Savior, my Lord, my Christ, my Lord Jesus, and, 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 and help me to, to be the person and the Christian that you want me to be. And I give you the glory. And give you the honor as you as you come into my life and my heart this time. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 
And if you pray that prayer honestly with yourself, with your uh, open mind, open heart, he will come in and say he would sup with you and he'll change you. He'll fill you with his spirit today and, 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 and help you to, to know his word better, to understand his word. You just get in that word and you talk to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was sent when Jesus, uh, once he was, uh, uh, we admit that he died for our sins and he was risen on the third day. He was put in a tomb and he was risen on the third day. And then before he went away, he said there was one that would come that would teach us into all things. And that's his Holy Spirit. And now he wants you to have a relationship with him through his Holy Spirit. His Spirit will help you to transform your spirit by helping you to see the things that you are doing wrong in your life. He'll convict you of your sin. He will not condemn you of anything, but he will convict you of your sins and help you to turn from those sins and change your life today. And like I say, you got to get you a nice Bible. Get you a Bible, get more into the Word. Find you a good church. There's churches out there. If not, make you find you a uh, you can start your own church in your home, just like the, like the book of Acts. People ch started their own churches in their homes and stuff, and you can do the same thing. You can find uh, start a church in your home with just a few friends, uh, start a Bible study, a Bible group. You can do all kinds of things that you, if you don't make excuses, don't make excuses, serve Him wholeheartedly today. So they can hush those lions' mouths. He can shut those lions' mouths up. He'll make them. He'll make. Uh, he'll hush the lion. And it says, "Cause my hush lions for my God is here to deliver me." And like I say, you know, uh, read the Bible, find a church, obey Christ and His command, and then you need to find a place to be baptized. <laughs> You need to find a place to be baptized uh, in water. I left my cat in here and he's kind of jumping around now. But you can find a place to be baptized in, 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 if, if it's warm or uh, cold where you're at, wait until the springtime. But make sure you get baptized. It's very important. Part of, part of the, uh, the uh, 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 salvation is also baptism. Is to get in there and get baptized. So... So you'll be a, the new creature coming out of the water. When Christ rose up out of the water, says the, the 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 Spirit of the Lord descended on him like a dove, and that's what this that's why I like this uh, this picture here and had it made up and stuff. But that's that pureness of that of the dove, and that and that's what when you come out of that old man comes out of that water, he comes out of a new man, a new person, a new creation in Christ, and that's what you need to be as well. And Christ thought it was very important. He told John the Baptist when John the Baptist said, "I'm not." even worthy to do this but he told him that he had to do it anyway and and stuff and how important it was and stuff because John had just been repent, uh, preaching repentance but he said there was one coming and that's who he says I see him afar off but then he when he came up to him he he, he baptized him and you need to find a, a place to be baptized as well and stuff and, and then just a, a, a great pointer here and finish this out just remind the devil every day that you are now a child of the Most High God. Just let people know that you are Christian. You know, don't hide hide it under uh, under a bush where it says don't hide it. Be open about it. So and be the great witness that God's called you to be. And God bless you. And like I say, I thank you for being here at Major Faith Worship Center and and few, the few distractions here at the end. But God bless you. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and a wonderful time in God. And and just let them let them let them devils know and them persecuted people that persecute you to know that they better be careful because God will shut up those mouths of those lions. It says, "Hush, lions! My God is here to deliver me." And you can bet that he he's he <laughs> and stuff. And we, uh, he's a great God, and he is there to help us to be delivered, and he will deliver us. And, 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 and he will one day soon come back for us and we'll be with him. It says, he, will, he says, I'll go away, but I will be back. I will come again and receive you unto me. And he said, because in my house are many mansions. And he's prepared those things for us. And he gonna, you're going to stand for him one day and he's going to say, this is my faithful servant whom I'm well pleased. Enter in. And that's what you would want to hear to hear him say. And not the 
depart from me, you work of iniquity. Don't be that person, but be the one that he says, come, let us die with the Father and with the Son and, 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 and with the Holy Spirit. And, you know, that's what it's about and today. If, if you got anything out of this, make sure you got yourself in your, in your, your, your condition with God and your relationship with God on the right track and back into His path of righteousness and for His name's sake. And, 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 and read your Bible, and, and, and this Bible will, 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 will guide you into all truths. And God bless you, and I say thank you for, for being here today. And remember these ministers, as I said at the beginning of this message, remember them and, and keep them in your prayers. Keep this, this ministry as well in your prayers, and we'll give, you, we'll give him all the glory. We'll give him all the honor and praise this day for all things. God bless you, and thank you. Thank you, and thank you again. God bless you.